What is going on guys, it is Panjano here, and today I'm going to bring you guys the ultimate FPS increase guide for Splitgate. The game has recently hit the Steam Early Access platform with great success and it's a ton of fun to play. Most systems will be seeing decent enough FPS return from the game, but if any of you guys are looking for that extra competitive edge or the very best FPS possible, whether you guys are running on an ultra low end all the way up to the latest and greatest in gaming hardware, you guys will be getting the very best FPS possible for your machines with inside of this video. So with inside of this video guys, if you guys do enjoy this video and are happy with the results at the end of this guide, please leave a like on the video as it helps me out tremendously. Alongside leaving any questions, queries, or suggestions for other content you'd like to see to come to the channel in the comment section down below, as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys. And if you guys do enjoy content like this or wish to see any community suggested content coming to the channel, please do consider pressing the subscription button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly of when I upload. So, to start off with inside of the guide, what you guys will need to go ahead and do is navigate into the description down below and you'll find two download links. Simply click on one of the download links, try the top one first. If the top one doesn't work, try out the second one as a backup link. Download the file and you'll be given the Splitgate FPS guide by Panj folder on your desktop. We you're simply then going to be doing is right clicking on the folder and selecting the option for extract here. If you can't extract here, you guys will need to go ahead and take yourself over to Google real quick and either Google 7-Zip or WinRAR. Doesn't matter which one you get, just get one of those programs, come back to the video, and you should then have the option to extract here. Go ahead and click extract here and you'll then be given a folder on your desktop with an identical name. So to get straight in with the optimizations, first of all, what we're going to be doing is actually navigating into the FPS pack provided and starting off by going into the configs folder. With inside of here, you'll be met with four configs in which we can choose from. We have the high-end config for any of you guys running on high-end systems and you prefer visual fidelity. A low end competitive config for any of you guys running on lower end or medium end systems and FPS matters the most. A recommended competitive config for any of you guys out there who are looking to get the very best FPS possible but maintain a good crisp image so you guys can see at still a higher resolution but the very best FPS possible. Removing any excess effects that aren't needed and any other distractions. And last but not least we have the ultra low end config for you guys running on absolute potato machines. You guys can go ahead and use this config. So click the config in which best matches the description in which you're looking for. I'm going to be going with the recommended config so I'm going to be going inside of the recommended folder. With inside of here you'll then be met with game user settings and scalability. To install these files it's actually very simple and easy to do. Take this folder and put it onto the right hand side and we're then going to navigate into the bottom left hand side and click the windows button. With inside of here we're then going to type in percent, app data percent just like so and then press enter. Once you guys are inside of there navigate up to the top to where it says app data here at the top, click the app data folder then go inside of local, scroll all the way down to the p section and we're going to be looking for the folder titled portal wars. Go inside of portal wars, go inside of saved, then go inside of config, Windows No Editor, and with inside of here, this is where we're going to be installing our customized, optimized game config files. So to do this, simply take yourself over to the right hand side, grab the configs inside of the customized folder, drag them inside of your game folder and replace the files in this destination. Once you guys have done that, you've now installed the optimized game config files. You can go ahead and exit out of both of those folders. Proceeding on from there, we can now take ourselves into Steam to apply some application fixes to the game itself to ensure that everything is running to the best of its ability, removing any excess optimizations from Windows, which you can actually take away from FPS. To do this, what we're going to be doing is simply navigating down to Steam, going over to Splitgate Arena Warfare, right clicking and selecting the Properties tab. With inside of here, we're going to start off by going to enable the Steam Overlay whilst in game. If you guys don't use the Steam Overlay whilst in game to talk to people or anything and you don't tend to use it, I'd recommend unchecking this option as it does better FPS just slightly. So if you don't use it, turn it off. We're also going to be going down to the Steam Input Per Setting option down here and making sure that we go ahead and actually select this to Forced Off. This will usually stop people from using controllers in game, so if you do use a controller for split gate, you won't be able to use it if you turn this option on. Force it off if you're using mouse and keyboard. We can then proceed to go to the Local Files tab found here at the top, then go to Browse Local Files, and your game directory folder will then open up. We're going to start off by going over to where it says Portal Wars and right clicking on the application. Go into Properties. We're then going to take ourselves over to the Compatibility tab found here. Then check the option for Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Click on Change High DPI and override the High DPI Scaling Behavior. Press OK, Apply and OK. We're then going to apply that optimization for the EAC launcher found here. Again, right click, Properties, Compatibility, Disable the Full Screen Optimizations, Override High DPI, OK, Apply, OK. And we're also going to be going inside of the Portal Wars folder going inside of binaries, Win64, and again, applying it to the Portal Wars Win64 shipping application. Right clicking, properties, compatibility, disable, override, OK, apply, and OK. Once you guys have done that, we can then exit out of both the folders and minimize Steam. Piggybacking off of that step for another application fix for the game, which is incredibly vital, which you can actually set the priority mode with inside of Windows to high, allowing Windows to allocate more resources towards the game application whilst it's running to ensure that you guys are getting minimal stuttering and the best FPS possible. To do this, what we're going to be doing is navigating inside of the FPS increase pack provided once again, this time going inside of optimizations. We're then going to go inside of the split process manager folder, and with inside of here you'll be met with three keys. 
above normal priority, high priority, and normal priority. I'd recommend most of you guys watching this video to go ahead and actually use the high priority one, but for some of you guys running on lower end systems, or if high priority seems to make your game stutter, which it might do for a few of you watching this video, try out the above normal priority key. Otherwise, 90% of you watching this video should go with the high priority key. Once you guys have decided which you're going to go with, double click on the key you're going to be going with, select yes. It'll then notify you that the changes have successfully been applied, then press OK, and that optimization has now been completed. Proceeding on from there, what we can now go ahead and do is actually apply some optimized launch commands to the game to ensure that we're getting the best FPS possible. With inside of here, what we're going to be doing is navigating into the FPS increase pack provided and double clicking, then going inside of the launch options text document. With inside of here, this might look a little bit confusing, but it's actually very simple to set up. Before you install the launch options found here at the top, you need to customize them. To customize them properly, what you guys will need to go ahead and do is actually navigate down to the bottom right hand side, right click on the taskbar, and open up Task Manager. With inside of Task Manager, we can then go to the Performance tab and then click on CPU. In the bottom right hand side of the CPU, you'll then be seeing cores and logical processors. The number which it says for your system under logical processes is the number we're going to be changing for our launch options. For you this might say 4, 8, 16, this number could literally be anything but whatever the number is under logical processes for you is what you're going to be setting up here to your preferred process account. So for me mine is set to 8 but if you had 6 you'd set this to 6 or if you had 4 you'd set it to 4 and vice versa. So for me that's going to be 8. Once you guys have customised the launch options simply navigate all the way from the right hand side to the left, select everything with inside of here, select copy and you can then exit out of the launch options. At this point we can take ourselves back down to Steam, right click on Splitgate Arena Warfare, go to Properties, go to the Set Launch Options tab with Inside of Here, go to the blank text box and hit Paste. Once you guys have done that then go ahead and press the OK button and we can then hit Close and minimize Steam for the next optimization. Proceeding on from there what we can now go ahead and do is actually boot into the game to go through our in-game settings to finalize the game specific optimizations. So what we're going to be doing is navigating down to Steam, going to a Splitgate Arena Warfare and hitting Play. Once you guys have booted into the game you might be alarmed because the game might look absolutely terrible and that's completely fine, we're not done finalizing our settings and we're going to be switching through some things with inside of here to finalize the settings in which we're looking for. So to start off what we're going to be doing is taking ourselves to the top right hand side to the settings cog and clicking that once. With inside of here I'd highly recommend setting the display mode to full screen for everyone watching, setting the resolution to your native monitors resolution or if you're running on a lower end config I'd recommend going with 1280 by 720 otherwise stick it to 1920 by 1080. Resolution scale, you should be leaving this as default. Some of you guys might have lower values than 100, but if you have 100 set in here, this is set with the config we installed earlier, so leave this value. VSync, we're going to make sure this is still disabled. And on the right hand side of the screen now, you'll be seeing settings depending on the config in which you've set. If you guys are running on the high end config, make sure that you go ahead and set your textures to high as well. And you can tinker around with some of the options with inside of here, but I recommend keeping most of these to the lowest value possible for the best FPS, as the game still looks fantastic with them. Again, if you're not happy with how the game looks, simply take yourself back into the config folder and still one of the other configs, come back inside of the game and see how the game looks, and keep doing that until you've found a value in which best suits you in terms of FPS and visuals. Once you guys have done all the settings with inside of there, again make sure that your frame rate limit at the bottom is set to 240 and hit apply changes. Proceeding on from there, what we can now go ahead and do is actually apply a vital fix for any of you guys that seem to run Discord whilst playing games, even if it's not Splitgate that you're playing, if you're playing any game and you tend to have Discord running in the background, even if it's just to talk to people, you should definitely apply this fix regardless of your system specs. So for this optimization, what we're going to be doing is navigating down into Discord, navigating into the bottom left hand side of Discord to your user settings and clicking on the cog. With inside of here, we're then going to take ourselves over to the left hand side and clicking on the option for appearance. With inside of the appearance tab, we're then going to proceed to scroll all the way down to the bottom to the advanced section. We're going to find the option for hardware acceleration. Go over to the flicker switch, and if it's switched to the on position, switch this off. Once you guys have done that, it will then warn you, press OK, Discord will reboot, and hardware acceleration will then be turned off. You will not notice any slowdowns with inside of Discord, it just simply means that Discord can no longer use the GPU to boost this performance, which is completely unnecessary and causes stuttering and hitching with inside of most games. Proceeding on from there, what we can now go ahead and do is actually start applying some of the most important Windows optimizations for every single game you can possibly be playing, including Splitgate. If you guys have followed any of these optimizations from any of my other videos, or you've just found some of these tweaks online, make sure that you do go ahead and actually retrace your steps and ensure that the optimizations are still applied. As with many Windows updates, including the brand new May update, which has literally just launched, many Many of these optimizations get reset back to default without you even realizing. So to start off what we're going to be doing is navigating to the bottom left hand side and starting off with the basics which is going to be our power plan. So simply type in power plan just like so, then simply click on any of the options here with the battery, with the cord, any of these icons here is absolutely fine, doesn't matter what the option says just click on one of them. With inside of here what we're then going to be doing is going over to the power options tab found at the top, going down to the show additional power plans and you should then be seeing balanced, high performance and power saver. Some of you guys might be seeing the ultimate performance power plan but if you're not seeing this you can actually unlock 
unlock the ultimate performance power plan on any Windows 10 PC, regardless of the spec. As long as you have Windows 10, you're absolutely good to go. But what we can simply do is minimize the power options tab for now and head inside of the FPS increase pack. Once you guys are inside of here, we're then going to go over to the command text document and double click. With inside of here, what we're then going to be doing is navigating to the top right hand side of the text, highlighting all the way from the right all the way to the left hand side, ensuring that everything is copied. Right click and select the copy key. Then you guys can go ahead and actually exit out of the command. Proceeding on from there, what we can then go ahead and do is navigate to the bottom left hand side and type in CMD just like so. Go over to where it says command prompt and this is an extremely important step right click and run it as administrator. If you don't run the command prompt as an administrator, nothing will happen when you apply this optimization. Once you guys have done that and you've booted into the administrator command prompt, simply go ahead and press control and then V on your keyboard and then press enter. You'll then be met with power scheme, GUID, a bunch of numbers, ultimate performance and exit out of the command prompt just like so. We can then take ourselves back down to the bottom to bring up the power options once again, take ourselves over to the refresh tab at the top right, click that once and you should then be seeing ultimate performance power mode with inside of here. Then simply take yourself over to the ultimate performance power mode and select the highlight option to enable that power plan and we can then go ahead and exit out. Proceeding on from there and piggybacking off of that step, what we can now go ahead and do is further enhance that power plan with inside of Windows to boost performance across the board. To do this, what we're going to be doing is navigating into the FPS increase pack provided once again and heading inside of the optimizations folder. This time we're going to be going over to the quick CPU setup and double clicking. At the bottom of your screen now, you'll be seeing a brief explanation as to what this program does and the benefits it will be offering you and why you should install it. So with inside of the setup, take yourself over to the next option, accept the terms, select next, next and install. After a few moments, the program will then be installed to your PC. Once the program has been installed, ensure that the launch option down here has been checked and then press finish. To start off, what we're gonna be doing is taking ourselves over to the power data plan found here on the top left hand side, clicking on the drop down menu and selecting the power plan in which we've set with inside of Windows earlier. So if you went with ultimate performance, select ultimate performance. We can then take ourselves down to the bottom left hand side to core parking index and dragging this slider found here all the way up to 100% taking ourselves over to the right to frequency scaling index and again dragging up to 100% and some of you guys watching this video might not have this option but if you do again turbo boost index up to 100%. What well, that's basically allowed Windows to do is to now have access to 100% of your CPU cores at 100% of the speed whenever it's necessary. This will not run your CPU at 100% usage all the time, this will not increase heat, will not damage anything, won't void any warranties and it is a completely safe optimization to do. Once you guys have got that set up then take yourself down to the bottom right hand side and press apply Press OK, we can then exit out of the program and so our optimization has now been completed. Proceeding on from there, what we can now go ahead and do is actually go into the nitty gritty settings with inside of Windows and actually set games to a higher priority with inside of the operating system itself to ensure that they get even more resources. So take yourself down to the bottom left hand side and we're then going to be typing in reg edit just like so and then pressing enter. The Windows registry editor will then open up. We can then proceed to go into HQ local machine Go inside of that folder and go down to software. If at any point you do get lost with inside of this optimization and you're not entirely sure if you're in the right folder, simply look here to where I've highlighted and you'll see the exact directory in which I'm inside of. Just make sure that yours matches up to this and you're good to go. Once inside of software, we're then going to be scrolling all the way down to the M section and looking for the Microsoft folder. Double click on Microsoft, scroll all the way down to the W section, and we're then going to be looking for the folder titled Windows NT. But inside of Windows NT, go inside of current version, and we can then take ourselves down to the M section once again, and we're going to be looking for the multimedia folder. Go ahead down to the system profile folder with inside of there. We can then take ourselves over to the right hand side. What we're going to be looking for with inside of here is actually the system responsiveness key found here. Double click on the key to edit the value. And what we're going to be doing is actually setting this to a value of zero or one. For any of you guys running on a high end gaming PC or a relatively new capable gaming PC, set this to a value of zero. For any of you guys running on medium end systems or lower end systems or older systems, set this to a value of one. So again, I'm recording this video at my high end gaming PC, so I'm gonna be setting this value to zero and then press okay. We then proceed to go back to the left hand side and double click on system profile this time, go inside of tasks and then go down to the games folder. But inside of here, we're then gonna be changing four options which are listed on the right hand side. We're gonna start off by going into GPU priority and setting the value to eight, pressing okay. Then proceeding to go to priority, setting the value data of six, and pressing OK, then scheduling category. With inside of here, we're going to be typing HIGH, -H, which is high, pressing OK, and last but not least, SFIO priority, double clicking, and again, the value data of HIGH -H or high. Once that's then been set up, go ahead and press OK. We can then exit out of the Windows Registry Editor as optimization has been completed. Now for an extremely quick FPS boost for any of you guys running on an NVIDIA graphics card, take yourself into the FPS pack provided, head into the optimizations folder, and open up the NVIDIA profile inspector just like so. With inside of here, we're then going to navigate down to the number two tab and double click on the option for frame rate limiter. Go into the drop down menu and we're going to be looking for the option titled 0x004 PS frame rate limiter 2 control delay flip by flip. As long as the number four is set there, that's absolutely fine. Select this option, then go ahead and press apply and you can then exit out of the NVIDIA profile inspector. That optimization is just a fix to lower frame times with inside of the NVIDIA driver, allowing you guys to get better FPS with inside of many Twitch shooters 
and also lowering frame times and lowering input lag, allowing your game to feel a lot more snappy and responsive. And that now brings us on to some of the final steps with inside of this video. Before we continue on with the last and final optimization with inside of this video, what I'd highly recommend you guys go ahead and do is actually take yourselves into the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows button, right click on the power button and select the restart option. You should restart your PC now to ensure that all of the Windows optimizations we've just spent the last bit of this video going through have been successfully applied to the operating system and your PC is on a fresh reboot. Welcome back to the video guys, you guys should have now restarted your PCs, be back with inside of Steam and ready to continue on with the last and final step. And it's arguably one of the most important. For the last and final step, we're going to be going into the FPS increase pack provided one last time and heading inside of the optimizations folder. We're then going to go ahead to the ISLC version 1010 folder found with inside of it and drag this onto your desktop. You can leave it in the FPS pack if you wish to do so, but you are going to have to come back to this application to boot it every time you reboot your PC. So for me, I recommend putting it on your desktop. So for a brief explanation as to what this program does and how it benefits you, this program basically allows you guys to lower the latency between your graphics card, the operating system, and the game application itself. This allows you guys to get a much more snappier and more responsive feeling game alongside boosting FPS, and this works with every single game you play. It's a fantastic program, it's very easy to set up, and it's extremely lightweight, and I recommend using this for every single game and application you use in your PC. So to set the program up, simply take yourself inside of the folder and boot up the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. With inside of here to set the program up, it's very simple and easy to do. For the first box, what we're gonna be doing is setting this to a value of 1024. For the second box, what we're gonna be doing is taking ourselves up to the total system memory found here at the top, and we're gonna half this number. This could say 4,000, 8,000, 16,000, it could say more or less, but whatever this top number is, roughly half it. So for me, I'm gonna be setting this to 8196, which is roughly half. What we're then gonna be doing is taking ourselves to the right-hand side and clicking enable on the custom time resolution. We're then gonna set the wanted time resolution to 0 0.50, just like so. Delete the other zeros off the end, and it should look very similar to that. At this point, what we're then gonna go ahead and do is press start, and we can then go up to the top to purge standby list, and we can then minimize the program. At this point, the program is running and applying those fixes whilst you play or do anything on your PC. If for some reason you are having trouble opening up the program, simply take yourself to the bottom right hand side to your task tray and double click on the monitor found here and the program will open up just like that. So assuming that we've now gone ahead and actually applied all the optimizations with inside of this video, there's one last thing left to do. That's actually to take yourself over to Steam, head into Splitgate and hit play. And there you guys have it, my ultimate FPS increase guide for Splitgate Arena Warfare. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and are more than happy with the results in which you've got. And if you are, please do leave a like on the video as it helps me out tremendously. Make sure again to take yourself into that comment section down below to post any results, questions, queries, or suggestions for other videos for any other games or videos you wish to see come to this channel. Alongside that, if you guys do enjoy my content, please do consider pressing the subscription button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly whenever I upload. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Hopefully you've been more than pleased with it. I'm Pangino, and I'll see you in the next one.